Hi, welcome to Indigo Wings Intuitive. I'm Tina and we're going to do our weekly read. So we have this week, what do we have? The Mermaids and Dolphins and the Goddess. They're the two decks we're using this week. So, see what comes. Uh, too many. That's a, probably a message in itself. Too much going on need to calm down. So before I start I say that take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, let's see what these were. So we have treasure chest, playtime. So spirit do like their playtime, they like spirit at all in a human being to have this earthly experience and sometimes then you have downtime, playtime, whatever you want to do, it, creative, whatever's your thing, um, it brings clarity, it brings in the ability to move ourselves forward. So if you are just so, um, so straightforward and you don't want to see anything else, you've got your blinkers on, then sometimes you just need to step back and have a little bit of a breath. A little bit of playtime. So the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestation. Okay, so by having that time out, having that whatever it is to you, um, it allows things to move forward if you're feeling stuck. Um, the treasure chest, yeah. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So obviously for some of you, that will actually mean money and it will mean, you know, the financial things. Others you, abundance means lots of different things to each and every um, individual it can mean. I mean, abundance can mean lots of different. I mean, the abundance of family and friends around you, the abundance of um, creativity around you, the abundance of success in some sort of way. So it's all sorts of different things. But you see the light shining on her face, so this is good fortune coming your way in some form. Yeah, yeah, we've got just about to say we've got somewhere there we were maybe that you feel like you're going for a challenge and you've got to um, move forward. Um, I'm gonna take let's take the bottom one. So we have Bridget don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. So that could be opportunities you could, that's coming your way and you really need to kind of stand up for what you want. Someone might get in your way, situation might come along and try and trip you up. There'll be hurdles or something like, you know, coming your way that presents a challenge. But don't back down, move forward, keep going, you know, because this is a, a golden opportunity. Important doors opening for you and walk through them. And then we have another um, abundance card. So we have the treasure chest and now we have another abundance card prosperity so the universe is pouring abundance out to you be open to receiving so sometimes we can actually block manifestation in all sorts of ways so try to be open and receiving um, but easier said than done sometimes when you are uh -huh. so it's that times where we just need to have that clarity come in with our sitting back a little bit and having a breather and then we can allow the flow to come back in. These two come to come out. So we have Diana, focused attention, intention, not attention, bold treasure. So unleash your venture side, take risks and be daring. Sometimes you have to kind of play the fool in the tarot. So that means that the fool is at the end of the cliff and he's quite merrily going to kind of just walk off that cliff. He does not know the opportunities yet, but he's willing to kind of just go for it. So we have that energy, the bold energy of moving forward um, through that energy. Uh, Freja is the goddess um, of uh, Fridays as well. So maybe something, you know, can look around enjoying those Fridays, enjoying your weekends, uh, making the most out of them. And we have Diana, focus attention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, actions focused on your target 
and you will make the mark. Now that goes against what I'm saying, take those blinkers off and become aware of everything that's around you. Um, but focus attention on your dreams and goals at the same time, which is, you know, is a balancing act. Um, for sure. Let's see what else comes out. Let's see if anything wants to come out. No, it hit me in the face. Okay, so we have Dream Big. We'll go for those as well because they came out with it. Dream Big. So uh, this week uh, might be that you know you want to make um, let go of the smaller things, let go of the negative things. Think big. Think far ahead of yourself. What's your goals? What do you want to do? Um, set some plans. Start planting seeds of thoughts of what you want to do. So let go of the small thoughts about yourself and see yourself succeeding. So manifesting. Um, see that dream and passion visualize the feeling and the energy behind it um, it has to be more than I'm, I'm visualizing the success it has to be the energy behind it take yourself in a day of what would be your dream and live that through a visual visualization feel the energy of it how would you feel from the start to finish what's your emotions about it and that's where we can manifest things a little um, a little brighter and a little bit more focused like we've got the focused intention so that goes with the manifestation so this week might be all about manifesting something quite ahead of you um, so we have again another manifesting card music for manifestation to manifest rapidly think of your desire while you chant hum sing or play music so it could be that you know you want to be upbeat you want to be positive and listen to something that really gives you that energy that uplifts you and whilst you're doing that lovely music around you or whatever um, you feel towards or maybe even if it's relaxing music whatever it is for you then visualize what your desires and passions are and what you want to achieve in the long run and um, because that's what I feel it's not short term I know it says rapidly but I'm feeling in the long run so that bigger picture so we have healing hearts you're a powerful healer, keep up the great work. So this is kind of like also saying that you can actually bring that healing energy to yourself. Um, don't forget yourself in that healing energy, in that healing circle, because spirit are going around in circles, which I can see there. So it might be that you are a natural born healer. It could be that you'll get hot hands and feel like you need to kind of give that energy out. You can always give it to Mother Earth and she will um, give it where it's needed. Um, you can give it to family and friends or it could be a career opportunity where you want to start learning more about healing it could be massage it could be lots of different things it could be Reiki um, so there's a healing energy now take what resonates and leave the rest so if you are interested in um, doing healing any form it could be there or it's like that two things where they're saying that you could do with some healing yourself to take care of yourself and that you're a natural healer because sometimes um, we get it that about healing and what you are is that you're a really good listener and or you give really good advice and that can be healing in itself okay so we've got a big week of manifesting opportunity manifesting um, abundance in um, whatever form it comes in if it's financial flow or whatever but big manifesting week to plant the seeds for future events for ahead Okay, I hope that helps some of you and resonates. Just take what um, does and leave the rest. Thank you for watching. Um, really enjoy it when you say your likes, subscribes and comments and I shall see you next time.